Global Ethics Corner from the Carnegie Council. Three quarters of the world's fish stocks are in distress and many fisheries could collapse by mid-century, reports the UN. In our manufactured world, wild species perhaps deserve special protection, first and foremost as a potentially sustainable resource. We're a hungry world, nearly 7 billion today, and peaking around 9 billion in a few decades. Access to quality protein is an ethical and developmental issue. Fish account for 20 to 30 percent of the total animal protein consumed in many poor sub-Saharan and Southeast Asian countries. Additionally, all nations are not equal maritime powers. Some can't enforce commercial laws in their territorial waters. While industrial fishing is economically cost-effective, industrial boats scour coastal waters leaving little behind for the local people who depend on the seas. But fish stocks are the real losers. Undesirables, non-commercial species, and juveniles are unintentionally caught and dumped back dead. This bycatch is especially bad in the shrimp industry where it routinely accounts for 80% of the haul. Can we reconfigure the fishing industry for greater food security and ecological sustainability? Will doing so meet the growing demand for protein? Conservation zones present a reliable solution, as does banning the trade in threatened species. Aquaculture is on the rise and also has promise, yet it introduces problems of breeding, disease, and pollution and requires fish meal to fatten the farmed fish. Should we ban industrial fishing or regulate it for sustainable output? Can farmed fish make up the difference? Furthermore, who will police the oceans? What do you think? This is William Vokey. Made possible by the Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs, Post a comment at www.carnegiecouncil.org.